to be talking about how to make your iPad organized. So, I just want to say that in our next video, we're going to come out with another Hermit Crab video. Because I know that some of my viewers are like, where are the crab videos? So, yes. They will, that will be out next week. Um, it's going to be a crab diet video, and I really hope you guys are going to enjoy that one. But today, we are going to be doing an iPad organization. So I really hope you guys like this video, and we're just going to get straight into it. Let's go. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to show you the video that is a little tour of my iPad, and then hopefully that will help you get a good idea. And then I'm going to show you how you can make yours just the same. Let's go. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you this really awesome app called Fonts. So I'm going to show you it. It's going to be circled and it's just a really, really, really cool app because you can make your messages, you can make your typing just all in different types of fonts. It is completely free unless you buy um, the extra fonts that it comes with. Um, as you can see here, the fonts that I have used have a typewriter type vibe. Um, on all the labels for my folders are all, they have all the handwritings and fonts. They have all been um, taken from fonts and I use that app to label them. So now I'm gonna show you how you can change your wallpaper to look really nice and aesthetic. So you're just gonna click choose a new wallpaper. And as you can see, um, there are lots of default wallpapers. They're not the worst, but they're not going to make your iPad pop as much as your own would because you don't, you don't really get to be as creative with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Safari and we are going to search up really quick, like, you know, aesthetic images. So let's go. I'm also going to scroll for just a bit so that way you guys don't have to search this up. Maybe if you see some images while I'm scrolling, you can just pause the video and screenshot, screenshot them there so that way you can put them on your home screen. So now I'm going to search up kawaii images. Um, I have a kawaii image on my home screen and I think it really makes your iPad pop. This is definitely a great option if you want a just like a really colorful vibe for your iPad. I think it's very cute and aesthetic. Um, so as you can see here, I chose that little bunny holding a peach. I thought this was really cute, except I will end up changing my lock screen back. I just wanted to use this as a little example to show you guys how to do this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screenshot this. Um, I don't know why, but it won't let me save things to my photos on my iPad, so I do have to screenshot it and crop it. So you can do this option too if saving the photo is not working for you. So now I'm going to go back into settings. We're going to click all photos or recent. And we are just going to set this up however we want. We're just going to quick choose lock screen, home screen, or both. I'm choosing lock screen. So now I'm going to exit out of settings and we're just going to go. So as you guys can see, it worked. And now I have that really cool lock screen of mine. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to start talking about folders. Now folders are such a great option for your iPad because they show so much organization and it makes your apps not cluttered around all the time. It's just a really good option. So I definitely recommend using folders. As you can see here, I have just some random apps and I've got some ASMR apps. I've got my device apps, you know, all those types of things. 
and that's definitely what you want to do to save storage to have an organized ipad you just really want to do that so here i'm just going to go through some of my labels of my folder so you guys can get an idea um that may maybe you can copy mine i have one called boredom which are just some like random apps that i like to play um okay guys now i'm gonna get on to the next hack and it's about stickers so let's go okay guys you saw that clip now you know some hacks and the next hack is making stickers now i don't have parchment paper but you can just search up on like safari or google or whatever and you can just search how to make stickers without sticker paper and they're just going to basically tell you a bunch of stuff about redbubble.com you should definitely go on there you can also buy stickers from redbubble um, but yeah, I definitely recommend watching one of those videos because that's another hack. You can make stickers and you can put them on clear cases on for any device, really. Um, you can just put them on your iPad case and I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, so yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to take an end. I'm just going to stop this video right here. Um, I don't have many hacks, but those are the ones I got out of my brain. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that these hacks helped you. So I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you, my crabbies. Bye.